If you want to seat the condyle fully in the fossa, use a leaf cage to deprogram the elevator muscles and then capture the bite in this position. This will allow you to build the appliance with the condyles fully seated. This can also save a lot of time on the insertion appointment as there are very few if any adjustments needed when the bite is captured in this way. Use a leaf gauge which will also help you find the posterior interferences that cause a slide from centric relation to maximum intercuspation and if the slide is significant, this will also help you predict other issues related to the second or the first molar if these need to be restored. When designing the appliances with a specific thickness, the leaf gauge bite can be invaluable as it positions the mandible in the exact dimensions you want it to be when the patients bite down on the appliance. If this is my desired outcome, I will use the leaf gauge to open the bite to a specific vertical, then capture the bite with the leaf gauge in place with the intraoral scanner. Then copy this three dimensional mandibular position precisely so your appliance fits exactly as you want it. Designing the appliance becomes super easy as there is no need to open the bite if you captured the vertical with the leaf gauge as mentioned above. You simply raise the occlusion where you want it to oppose and send it for printing. Stay tuned for part 5. Share it. Save it.